All right, guys, look what I got snow for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Aren't I a good guy? <laughs> look at that. Wow. Cool. All right, off we go to physical therapy. It's been a while, Snow. You took a week off. Good morning, Fabian. How are you today? Muy <laughs> bien. Very good. All right, Snow, we're back at physical therapy. It's been a while. Yeah, I guess a little over a week ago, we went to see Dr. Pardo. He released me for everything. My physical therapy here at the hospital was over, but I asked him for a few more sessions just because we were here and Melissa is so amazing. But while we were making those new appointments, a little over a week went by. So I haven't seen Melissa in a little over a week. She's going to hurt me today, I can tell. <laughs> but it's all for the best because it's not long till we're hitting the road. Three more visits here, guys. Let's go do this. Three more visits. All right, what are you two doing here? Yeah. So, Stephanie is almost done with her internship here. And to celebrate, she's going to go on a vacation to Mexico with her mom and her best friend. And she's going to Tulum and Cancun. So we're telling her all the secrets we know about Tulum. Yes, I need some recommendation about you. <laughs> It'll hey, be a lot of fun for her. Did you two call each other before this and uh, coordinate the colors of your shirts? Yes. It is, it is our <laughs> pants and color shirt, yes. Look at these twins. <laughs> All right. The first test, the elliptical. This is going to tell the tale. So last time, guys, I couldn't do this. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Well, I did it. It hurts, uh, but not much. Oh my, cinco, uh, ocho, cinco, ocho. Cinco, seis. No sube. No es muy fuerte. I gotta walk all around the mall today. Two different sizes. I think they're different than the United States. No, the Lord, uh, muchos mensajes, mensajes, the Lord, and nerves. Okay. On steps, I use the leg. I the Lord. Ah, 
<laughs> that one hurts. It's really hard. It doesn't hurt. It's just really hard. I have no strength. I knew this was going to be hard today. Okay. Show me how you do it. <laughs> Cero. Cero. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. <laughs> Ten times. <laughs> Ten times. <laughs> I think it's uh, work your leg. Right mm -hmm. Uno, cero. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cero. <laughs> <laughs> Double. I was doing tilt and kick. I was doing that. You don't have any knee. <laughs> <laughs> but you need the balance. No, no, in this step. Again, try it again. Okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. It's low, it's low. And zero. <laughs> Seis. Siete. Ocho. Ocho. Nueve. Diez. Okay, very good. <laughs> Training you to walk down rivers with me on slippery rocks.
Who's better than Stephanie? <laughs> Nobody's better than Stephanie. So we finished with physical therapy and now Fabian has brought us to a very exciting place, at least for me. Uh, I need some new clothes, guys. So we are at a gigantic shopping mall and Kurt's gonna get some pants and I'm gonna get some new clothes. We're gonna do a little shopping here in Medellin. First things first, guys, it's lunchtime. <laughs> here is a Colombian mall food court. Oh, there's Chip Station. That's what Santiago brought us to the house. Senor Taco. There you go, sushi, Kurt. Spring rolls. Chinese. When I get to the table, I will tell y'all what my meal cost and we'll see what Kurt got. So I picked up some Chinese from Senor Wok. I got some rice, a spring roll, some sesame chicken, and I think some sort of barbecue ribs. Mine cost 30,000 Colombian pesos. We'll see what Kurt came back with. Up oh, and a Diet Pepsi, guys. Let's see what Kurt got. Oh. There is a lot of great food choices here. I did not make a great food choice, but it's normal for me. You got some McDonald's. How much did yours cost, Kurt? Mine was, I think, 25. Okay, 25,000 Colombian pesos. What'd you get, a quarter pounder? Quarter pounder, french fries, and a drink for five bucks. All right, guys, there we go. Now we're gonna eat, and then it'll be time to do some shopping. I love the excessive sodium and cholesterol. <laughs> guys, a quarter pounder with cheese mill looks exactly the same in Colombia as it does in the United States. All right, lunch is done. And now we gotta figure out how in the world to maneuver this mall. The first store we're looking for is called Decathlon. And I guess maybe that's what, maybe like a Dick's Sporting Goods or a Sports Authority, Kurt? Yep, Sporting Store. So we're gonna go see if we can find it. Yep. What are you getting? I'm getting the stretchy strap band that we use in physical therapy. Uh, she told us to get the gray one. We found it here, you buy it by the meter. So we bought one meter. I gotta start preparing for Brazil. So rumor has it this is necessary in Brazil. What do you think, Snow? <laughs> you think I should get a swimming suit like this? What do you think? Okay guys, we walked around the mall a lot. I tried on a lot of jeans and for those of you that will know you will understand this I am in between women's sizes and ladies sizes so I could not find any jeans and uh, that's that we will keep trying but my knees tired that was a lot of walking I did find a pair of shorts Kurt how did you do? Uh, terrible uh, the fact of the matter is, in Latin America, I'm gigante, meaning I'm a giant. So things like shoes, pants, all that stuff are always difficult to find. And really, it's kind of the way of Latin America. It's here, we just don't know where to look and all that stuff. So it just makes things more difficult, but we'll get it figured out one of these days. Yeah, I found a couple of nice ladies at the end that sent me to some stores that they thought could help me just not quite in that smaller size set. 
so we will keep looking. Sounds like there might be a trip to Centro in our future. We'll see. But for now, we're going to go home and put some ice on my knee. For those of you who've been paying attention, you know I've already gone to, down to Centro several times. I've taken you guys with, but this one right here has not gone yet. So today is going to be a big day. We got to go find some stuff. Yeah, we need uh, a TENS machine, which will help stimulate my muscles during recovery. It works really good when Santiago uses it. So we're going to get one for the van. I need jeans, guys. We've got to find some clothes. And our Uber is here. Hola. All right, we made it down to the medical area. And down here, it's a matter of finding which store we need to go to to find the TENS machine. Santiago's. So hopefully that helps us. She said being being a Similar. Hello. What's the question? So first mission was accomplished. Yeah, the first one accomplished. Well, the second one, the first one, get me out of the apartment and down to Centro. That's accomplished. The second one, get a TENS machine for my leg muscles. Done. Now I gotta go do some more stuff. I think you have forgotten that I don't know where to go. <laughs> Welcome to the chaos that is Centro. <laughs> The things I'll do. Snow's in, trying some new undergarments. Hopefully we find them here before she has a panic attack. Shopping in downtown Columbia is a little different than back home. She's a little nervous. But we're getting through it, so hopefully something fits. Oh, there it is, right over there. Delicious day life. So we've hopped in to one of the mall areas to have some lunch. I ordered a um, Pachuga Mexicano. So it is a Colombian version of Mexican chicken. So my chicken has ham on it, a lot of cheese, and some sauce. Actually tastes a bit like Italian, but the arepa looks good with that cheese cooked on there some rice, and I got a little salad with some guacamole. Kurt, what did you order? Castillo's, which are barbecue ribs, so still waiting on yep. mine. We'll see. Barbecue ribs, here we go. And some french fries. Mm. Not the best ribs I've ever had by far. But we are in a hidden 
mall food court in Centro. It's edible and we're hungry, so we're all good, guys. Edible. This little trip downtown with snow would definitely not be complete without a trip to Parque Bartero. I brought Todd here, I came here myself. One last time, guys. I told Kurt we had to get down here to these statues before we leave the city because I swear they're modeled after me. <laughs> <laughs> I say that jokingly, but not really. <laughs> visited Parque Botero and I have said my final goodbyes to that place. Our last trip in Centro is definitely chaotic but we got a couple more things to check out. All right so just when snow was getting frustrated and revenue ready to give up we have success. So I think she's gonna be happy here. We only have a little bit more stuff left to grab, but this was a big success, guys. Ladies, most of you know, these are very difficult to find. And when you find one that fits, it's all you wear. But I lost 60 pounds, they don't fit anymore. I had to get new ones and these will do. All right, so this place was like a Target or yeah, similar big department store. Maybe a Penny's or a Target, yeah. So anyway, we're headed back out to the streets to try to find some jeans. All right, we're at a place. I wanted Snow to be able to try these world famous bonielos. Yep, I'm gonna have one and a coffee. Hi. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, to get y'all up to speed, one bra costs 17 US dollars, which is 68, 69,000 Colombian pesos, right? Yeah. And the TENS machine, which is what does the electro shock on my muscles, was 55 US dollars. So 225,000 Colombian pesos, which is around 55 US dollars. So that way you just know some prices. All right, we got some fresh bañuelos here. I have heard all about these things. And these are hot out of the grease, so in my opinion, them. these are as good as they get. And these have queso? These have queso. All right, let's see what I think, guys. And we got a little cafe con leche to reward Snow for all the walking and hard shopping she's done today. They're hot. We're going to wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> they are hot. So over there you can see the bañuelo batter and there's the fryer and then they ask you if you want queso in them so they'll put a little cube of queso in there and it's kind of a sweet queso and they also make donuts but we're about to give it a try. Still hot but here we go. Too hot? Ah. <laughs> I 
You got cheese hanging out of your mouth. Oh, you got it. <laughs> All right. So Snow is critiquing yes. our critique yeah. of the bagnello. Everyone has said that they're like cakey donuts. No, because they're not sweet. They're good. And they have a little hint of sweetness, but nowhere near cake and nowhere near donuts. Maybe like a hush puppy that has a little dash of honey in the batter or something. But not sweet like a donut, but good. All right, guys, we're here with Carolina, and we're trying to get some new Snow and Kurt shirts made up. So I think she's going to be able to help us out here. All right, Snow's went and bought some shirts. She's going to get some Snow and Kurt shirts, too. Mine are going to look different than Kurt. I had to order mine because I'm tall. And so down here, it's even tough to get the right size to fit. So we ordered mine, but Snow was able to buy hers from right here. Uh, hola, como te llamas? Andreina. Andreina? Carolina. Carolina, con mucho gusto. Igual, mucho gusto. So Snow's over here in the magic changing room. They have one over here. Look at, there she is, trying to find a new pair of jeans. They have a little hoop up there with a curtain. So she's trying some jeans on. Okay guys, I just tried on 15 pairs of jeans in Three 20, in, tw in literally about 10 minutes, it was crazy. Those girls were extremely nice. There were two pair that were really close, but the sizes are down here are just wacky and we haven't been able to find something that fits. So, we will keep looking. But we are leaving Centro. I experienced the full force of Centro. It's time to go back to our apartment and put a lot of ice on this knee. But guys, it did good. The knee held up, but we're going home. Through here. Hey guys, I did not tell you. <laughs> I did not make any fashion statements today with my shoes. It was all about safety for my knee. And I don't care. <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys!